Heat transfer by conduction, convection and radiation happens all around us, all the time. So here are some examples, some practical uses of conduction, convection and radiation, heat transfer, and some everyday examples, some effects that you might observe. So let's start off with conduction and a practical use. So the one of the, an obvious use of conduction is in cooking. So cooking pans pans are made of metal. They might have a plastic handle, but the body of the cooking pan is metal because metal is a good conductor. Metal good conductor. And we want to get the heat from the, the cooker to the food as quickly as possible. So often they're copper bottomed. Those are very good quality um, cookware. An everyday example of conduction is if you were just to open your cutlery drawer and pick up a spoon or a fork or a knife, a metal spoon, fork or knife, and it feels cold. Why does it feel cold? When if you pick up a wooden spoon, it doesn't feel cold, it feels warmer-ish. Well, the reason for that is because metals are good conductors and they conduct your heat energy away from your skin. And that feels cold to us. So metals feel cold to touch. And we can say that... Uh, they conduct heat energy away from your skin. They're good conductors, whereas a wooden spoon doesn't, so it doesn't conduct heat very quickly away from your skin. Convection. Well, convection is used practically in a fridge freezer. So in a fridge freezer. And in a fridge freezer, at the top of the fridge compartment, there's usually a cooling element. And that cooling element cools the air. So here we are, kind of, here's the, the main compartment. And at the top is this cooling element. That cools the air, which gets more dense and falls down. Now what takes its place? Well the warm air rises. So this is the cool air, this is the warm air, and we get this cycle, this continuous convection cycle which keeps the, the refrigerator compartment um, cool but uh, in, a, uh, in a consistent way. So that's as cool as it is down here, it's also cool up here. So a fridge freezer. We can say that uh, cool air sinks and the warm air rises. Another example of convection uh, that you might observe in everyday life is a sea breeze. What causes a sea breeze that comes in from the sea to the shore? Well, it's the action of the sun acting on the land. So here's the sea, here's the land. The sun in the morning heats up the land more than it does the sea. This increases in temperature more than the water. And so the warm air rises. What takes the place of the warm air? Well, the cooler air. Cool air comes in from the sea and the warm air rises. And that is a called a sea breeze. That's the reason for a sea breeze. Uh, radiation, a practical use. Greenhouses. Now, in a greenhouse, the sun's radiation goes through the glass, warms the inside of the greenhouse. The warm inside objects radiate radiation as well, but at a longer wavelength. That longer wavelength can't escape as much 
can't get through the glass of the greenhouse, so it's reflected back in. So here, here's a pot, a plant. And this is the greenhouse effect. Uh, it's what also causes the earth to warm up due to not glass, but carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And it's the same process. Sunlight can get in, or infrared radiation can get in, but it warms up the inside and those longer wave radiation waves can't get out. So we can say that uh, infrared radiation, infrared radiation from the sun warms a greenhouse, which is what we want to make our plants grow. Okay. And finally, an everyday example of uh, an observation, an effect of, uh, of radiation. Well, we'll use our friend the sun again. If it wasn't for the sun, we wouldn't be here. And when you go out in the sun, the infrared radiation from the sun feel warm. And that's just an observation, an effect of the radiation that has traveled through the vacuum of space millions and millions of kilometers from the sun to the earth. So we can write here the sun's rays, the sun's rays feel warm. Good, so here are some, some simple examples uh, which are good to have at your fingertips in the exam.